What you looking at, Spyro? Hey guys, Lightane here. I'm exploring the next world in uh, the Spyro video game, which is the Beastmasters. And apparently being a Beastmaster is uh, owning a Freakazoid chicken looking thing. Sounds like uh, they not just, uh, they don't just uh, raise beasts. They make their own. Right, so uh, in the Beastmasters world, it's a swamp. So it's surrounded by lots of toxic swampness. Um, it's uh, you also got people that uh, electrify the floors, which can be very annoying. Come on, scratch it. So with the swamp world and electric floors, this place can be very annoying to uh, navigate. It's my least favorite world of the game. But uh, what have we got in here? 300 gems and two dragons. Well, here's the first dragon. Good old Bruno Mars! Nasty Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junk heap. And it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. I agree with Spyro. I'm sure it was beautiful. So, uh, we're gonna get to the levels, of course, later after we, um, have a look around. And collect everything that we can in the swamp. Uh, this level's, uh, this homeworld's also pretty big and a little bit sparse. Let's just destroy all those and I'll jump back. Let's collect my three gems, yay. While the camera doesn't pan correctly. Ah, oh, they immune to fire as well. I think they just shake off. Well, four! Oh, we all know how much I love boars. Alright, let's go... Yeah. Let's go... Actually, the other way first. Let's go see what's over there. Oh, uh, no, I'm already committed. Explore this place. So we've got a giant tree here. You know, wish it had a face on it, and then I could go inside and explore some stuff, maybe find some treasure chests, like a compass, or, um... Some, but uh, behind this tree is the treetops uh, level, which is probably the hardest level of this game. Yeah, I'd say it's probably the hardest level of this game. Anything over this way in the tree roots? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I don't like the treetops level. I'm not looking forward to doing it. Uh, and we got. A little bit of stuck there. Uh, we got Metalhead, which is the boss. We need a key for that place, which I'll find later, I'm sure. We got a dumb guy that wants to electrify, electrify the floor. So let's just wait for him to do it. There we go. I don't know about you, but that that haunting whoop sound sort of similar to the uh, the sound of um. Uh, the ghosts from, um... Donkey Kong Country 2. The ones that go... Ah, uh, no. Yeah, yeah. Phew, made it. But now I don't have Sprax. Oh. Don't die, Spyro. Okay, there we go. Give me back my dragonfly. Eat. Eat, my friend. I've never heard of a dragonfly eating butterflies. That'd be pretty crazy if it could. Alright. Let's talk to the balloonist since we're here. Cry, cry, the balloonist. I feel sorry for all the dragons still trapped in crystal. Maybe once you rescue 50 dragons, then I'll feel a little better. Alright, well, we're gonna stay here for now. 50 dragons, how many have we got? 47. It's already nearly done with rescuing dragons. Alright, let's climb up this stone steps. I think that's not how you get in there. Uh... Nothing. Hmm. 
doesn't seem quite right. find out and probably die. Oh, no. Survive. That's how you get the key. Fly over to this one. Back to this one. Don't miss. Yeah. Now where was that chest? Here it is. Open sesame. Ooh, lots of gems in there. And it gave me a little, uh, little, little, uh, shortcut. That's nice of him. Alright, let's fly back over. And explore the other side, which I didn't get to explore last time. Die, boy! There we go. Anything behind this bog? No, this bog. But over here is our second dragon, Gledus, the redneck. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I've got to go. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was great to see you too, Gledus. Go, take care of your, like, 50 children. I'm sure Brandine misses you. I think it was Brandine. So there's nothing in here so we can drop down in this one. The other well had um uh the other well had uh, swamp goop in it, so we couldn't go down there. This is where the flight level is. Wild flight, which yeah, we'll get to much later. I'm not doing now. There we go. Let's go around this building for some money. Oh! What a rude boar. Just ran into me. That was just bad form, sir. Bad form. Alright, I think that should be it for treasure. 300. Alright. So let's go back to the first level, which was over here. Now that we've finished the homeworld. Now we go to... Look, these uh, portals are bigger than the other ones. I guess uh, they make them big in Beast Makers. Let's go to the Terrace Village. Isn't that like two words describing a similar thing? Hmm. Alright, Terrace Village. Let's eat my, eat my dragonfly. Uh, eat my butterfly with... Ooh. Look at that, next to the home, with Sprax's weird, uh, weird face. Alright, uh, so the Beastmaker's World, Terrace Village, has 400 gems and 2 dragons. So they're slowing down with in terms of dragons, there's no more eggs. Um, we've still got quite a few gems there. Man, Crash would be proud. He has to do so much work in order to get a gem. Well, Spyro just gets them everywhere. Uh, so we've got a new type of bad guy, it's a big hulky kind of bad guy. Uh, and they have different, uh, I think they have one or two, I don't know, different uh, things at the end of their guns. Oh damn, he shot just before it. There we go. Eat. Uh, so they, uh, they shoot electricity at you, and they try and hit you with their stun batons. But that's okay, especially if you charge up behind them, they can't see you. Die, die, die. Yeah, so he's gonna try and hit me then. Got him this time before he got me. I want to say that that grass is not really grass and that you will probably die if you touch it. I don't know. Let's get a life. Baby. Not only that, but Spyro gets to collect all these colored gems. Man, the amount of effort I had to go through to get a blue gem. Crazy. And here Spyro is just 
collecting them all willy nilly. Die. So that's the other new enemy, it's a sentry, um, which is not too hard to beat if you just rush at them before they have a, a chance to shoot you. I think I'm near the beginning of the level again, I just went around in circles, yes. Yeah, so sentries can be a little bit annoying, but just like any enemy in the game, you just rush at it and then you, you deal with it swiftly. that because just like Aerosmith I don't want to miss a thing all right everything in here is good everything in here is good I don't think I have anything out here yet okay let's continue okay Jean-Claude watch out Spyro the Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. I know. I uh, fell victim to it already. Oh, almost. Let's try that again. Alright. Die. Give me my secretish treasure. Sometimes I wish the game had just a little bit further back camera and uh, a little bit higher up and smash because it would make some of these uh, areas a little bit easier hey <laughs> hey I didn't fall off the edge that makes me proud now go away damn it die just casually electrocuting a floor. That's weird. I, don't, I wonder what this floor is made out of. It looks like stone, but then it conducts electricity very well. So, I'm not sure. Nah, nothing up there. Okay. It's got to be made of something that would conduct electricity very well. Ah, oh, damn. Shot me. All right, Missile Dragon. Cyprin. No puns for this guy. Oh, Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. You and me both. And look, we can access the next world already. Now I'm stuck following the lives. Eat. Eat. Die. No, oh, miss. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. Like a boss. Always think it's weird when bad guys laugh after they've just fired a shot instead of trying to, you know, hit you again. Like, if that was in real life, if, you know, you had a bullet with 15, if you had a gun with 15 bullets and you fired one shot, you don't go, bang, ha 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 ha, bang, ha 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 ha. That's just weird. But, hey, video game logic. Gotta leave openings for uh, the good guy down here and get some treasure. Um, nothing else down here. Damn. I'm sure you can speedrun this game by like charging through most of it. You should watch a speedrun of this game. Maybe there's a cool little bits of tips and tricks. Yeah, I'm still very much into watching some speedruns. Oh, damn it. No. first guy at the wrong angle, which made that screw up. One, two, three, you dead. My money sprats. Sparks, sorry. Sprats, sparks. Sparks. Hmm. Ah, what? 
can't fly to there. Well, at least I couldn't. There we go. I got there in the end. I'm a little special. Calm down. Wait a second. Oh yeah. Little staircase hidden in the rock. Not hidden, I'm just not very good at seeing. Ah, uh, alright. Anything over there? No, that's where I came from. So let's go over this way. Oh yeah, got it just before he was gonna electrocute. So this is our return home, but I'm not returning home yet. I haven't got all my gems. So I'm still missing out some gems, so which were back this way, on top of those platforms and stuff. But how do I get up there? Let's have a look around there. Eh? Hmm. Maybe I have to fly from somewhere. Maybe from up there? Maybe. Let's try it. Too bad there's no uh, whirlwind to make this part faster. Let's go here. And then here. Then up this staircase. Yeah, they put a little platform out for this, so. I reckon it's supposed to fly from here. Yeah, look at that. There's some treasure. Man, Bruno Mars definitely wrote his definitely wrote his song about this game, I'm sure. Mm, anything over here? Nope. It's just a little platform to get back up in case you I don't know, overshot it or something. I don't know. Let's use this to break open that box over there. Ah, oh. what? Damn it! I have to go all the way back. All right, round and around in a circle, because that's what I do. Actually, I'm running in a straight line. <sighs> but you know what I mean. Well, I hope you know what I mean. All right, nice flying over there. Playing this game makes me want to listen to the Donkey Kong Country soundtrack. I think like some jungle hijinks here would be fun. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm a little bit obsessed with uh, Donkey Kong Country. Because <laughs> I talk about it all the time. Alright. Now let's fire you off. And that should be the last couple of gems. Last one's here. Boom, 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 boom. And then, yeah, that looks right. 400. There we go, out of 400. All the dragons rescued. Yep, only two dragons now. You would think that because you need 50 dragons to get through to the end of the, the next level, that this world would have more dragons in it. I don't know, just me. Let's go over here and return home. Just like how in the last one it said, you know, have five dragon eggs and there was like eight dragon eggs or something. Five. Two, four, six, seven. That was a lot of dragon eggs. All right, so uh, with that, uh, we're gonna leave this. So we explored uh, the, the home world of the Beast Makers and we uh, went through the first level, which was Terrace Village. Uh, so next time on Spyro, we'll be going to the next two levels uh, of this game, and I will see you guys there. Bye!